It's very generous, like look at all the ingredients, wow, so much, yeah. There's a lot of meat. I love meat. Wow, okay, this one also shit. Uh. Today is it everything five upon five? Welcome to another episode of Food Finders. Today we are at Ang Mo Kyo. We're gonna review this article that our writer wrote. 20 Ang Mo Kyo food places to eat like a heartlander. So Ang Mo Kyo is a mature estate in northeast Singapore. Is it northeast? More like central Singapore. Uh, but yeah, mature estate, you can see a lot of mature people around. Like, yeah. But this is a sign of good food when you see elderly people. So we are gonna go check out our first place at where we are. So I'm gonna pick a few places, uh, a couple of places from our list and you know, we'll check out some other new places as well if we are nearby in the area. Okay, so let's go find our first place. Shit, so we wanted to try this long tea carrot cake, but it's closed. So we'll have to find something else in this food center. I think the Mi Siam queue longest, right? Let's go and try Mi Siam. Uh. <laughs> when in doubt, join the longest queue. Yeah, this one is totally random. Uh, we have no idea whether this is good or not. Apparently, it's uh, 4.2 stars on Google, according to Miss Tam Siak, offers cheap and affordable bowls. Mi Siam is small. Sorry, you sell Mi Ro Bowls or Mi Siam more? Okay, we got a Let's find a seat. So this is the Shi Xian Mi Siam. Uh, sauce looks quite thick. Uh, we're gonna squeeze some lime. Ah, shit. The seeds. Break. Biatch. So very cutely, they cut the eggs into cross sections. Just gonna mix up everything. So it's a typical uh, Bi Hun with sauce. Uh. It feels really, really good. Very hearty. Quite sweetness, quite sourness, and this crispy. A tao pok. Is it tao pok? It's not a tao pok, is it? <laughs> you are correct, sir! So rather than the like having it in big pieces, so they have it in this like little small, uh, small cut up pieces. Uh, the gravy is very, very hearty. It's actually very nice. So the gravy has this peanut like aftertaste. I mean, I think there's peanuts inside, lah, right? There's more peanuts in. Sambal, so you mix it in, it gives it even more texture and a bit more kick also. It's a very perfect dish for breakfast. It's three dollars, really affordable. It's not like a very heavy meal. I, I will give this a. Oh, let me think. I'll give it a five on five actually. So yeah, do check out Shi Xian and Long Chi if it's ever open. But anyway, I think this food center has like a few things to try. You can try this Mi Siam as well. Yeah, maybe try the Mi Rebo next time. But yeah, this is definitely worth a try. Let's move on to the next spot in Amokyo. And the good thing about Amokyo is like a lot of places are quite walkable. So we're gonna like walk around. Teleport animation. <laughs> on our Amokyo list, uh, we recommend this Shinjitsu ramen as well. It's right here. Zhenshi ramen. But I noticed that Shinjitsu ramen has a branch at Topayo. So I'm not super keen to try it, but I'm actually more interested in this Zhao Jianzhao. Shit, how do you pronounce it? Jianzhao, Ipo Kayu noodle. So it's quite uncommon that you find Ipo Kayu noodle. So I think uh, let's give it a try. And uh, we have a Malaysian with us. You can try it. Let us know whether this is authentic. Father and son hawkers sell Ipo Kayu noodle. You guys are from Asia, right? Ma? Or from Asia? Ah, oh, you're from Asia. Actually, this is a very good thing. I was going to try this with a lot of meat. Oh, I see. 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 How to be a social media influencer. Buying likes and always taking selfies. Okay. Uh, according to Dean, our resident Malaysian is uh, quite legit. There's roast pork, there's char siu. Uh, this is minced chicken, not, not minced chicken, shredded chicken. This is shredded chicken uh, and they even add mint and the broth looks pretty thick. So yeah, this actually looks quite legit. So let's give it a, sh give it a shot. It's not bad. How good? There's a subtle sweetness to the curry. The roast pork is quite good. Though. I think everything really blends together quite well. Um, yeah, the chicken is a bit thick though, like the cut is usually not so thick. Like that's a thick ass bomb. Ah, let's give it a shot. Oh, but it's really, really soft. Oh shit, this is actually a pretty good find. Oof, 
Yeah, very hearty. The curry gravy is good. It's a subtle coconut hint, subtle sweetness. Goes well with all the ingredients. It's actually very, it's very generous. Like, look at all the ingredients. Wow, so much. Yeah. There's a lot of meat. I love meat. Wow. Okay, this one also shit. Uh. Today is it everything 5 upon 5. Uh, this one I'll give 5 stars also for the Ipo curry noodle. Very good. Tengku Jian Zhao Ipo curry noodle. You give a shot. Uh, we need Dean to tell us whether it is authentic or not. So your, your, you mentioned your, your mother was, uh, is from Ipo, right? Yeah, it's from Ipo. It's quite good, right? I would say it's like 95% closed. 95% closed, yeah, that's quite good. They catered to the Colucus. It's a spicy. But the Malaysian one is spicy or what? Yeah, so they actually. Is it a bit spicy? Yeah, it's a bit spicy. Oh, so the spicy is a bit lesser. Okay, they're good. I think this level of spiciness is like just nice for me because I'm weak. Moving on to the next spot. Tune, tune, transition. Yeah. Oh, okay, we gotta eat mutton. We gotta try mutton soup. I'm, I'm okay with literally means uh, in Hokkien. It's a red red skin bridge. Eh, no, sorry, red, red fur, red hair. Red hair. I think it's either it might be referencing some bridge that was here or it's referencing the, the rambutan. There was a lot of rambutan in this area, I think. Uh, what is this? Silver zone. Enhancing road safety for seniors, you see, that's like, wow. Here, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, there, I can see the Yang Rou Tang. Yeah, Yang Rou Tang, yo, yo, let's go. So we are now at this Lao Wu Chi Yang Rou Tang. If I'm not wrong, this is actually recommended by uh, Michelin. So yeah, I don't know, I think mutton is like a, not everyone likes it, not everyone loves it, but I don't mind it. So let's, let's go and try it out. Uh, Yang Rou Tang, you want? Yeah, so we, are just, we ordered the mutton soup already. She mentioned that it's going to take like half an hour. Okay, so while, while we're waiting for the mutton soup, I decided to try the 777 HK traditional roast delights. So I ordered the roast duck drumstick, uh, which comes with tang kuei. La. Okay, this is a tang kuei roasted duck. Interestingly, it comes with this herbal soup on the side as well, uh, which has duck webbing. So you can see the fats, like it's quite fatty. That's why I got like, you know, roasted drumstick. Yeah, first thing that hits you is really the the tang kui, which is like uh, it's angelica root like normal. Let me let me just Google this to be sure. Tang kui, tang kui is like some kind of ginseng la, right? And it's also known as the angelica something something angelica root la. Yeah. Anyway, angelica sinensis. What? Wow. Okay, I find it a bit too bitter though. It's not a very good balance. Uh, but the meat is the meat is really good. The soup is really good though. But like you can taste like the, the cordyceps uh, and the herbal herbalness of it. It's also quite unique, lah, right? Like normally soup like they just give you some MSG soup, but here they actually give you like this herbal soup mix. Yeah, so yeah, overall I think this is not bad. I'll give it a 4.5. Four stars. Ping ping ping. Okay, now back to waiting for Yang Rou Tang. I think it's been 20 plus minutes lah, probably. Eventually. Okay, so I just got my mutton soup from Lao Wu Chi. Now we're gonna try the mutton soup. Looks very promising. You can smell the butteriness and the uh, the fats that has like dissolved from the mutton. Uh, looks like some kind of rib, like mutton rib. Okay, we're gonna try soup first. Uh, oh, this hits the spot. You can taste a lot of the fat that's really dissolved in the soup. Um, it's very herbal. Herbal, we, you can taste the ginger as well. It, it kind of masks the, the, the mutton, um, what do you call that? Gaminess. Yeah, the gaminess of the mutton. So, but it's still quite distinct. Lah. If you don't like mutton, you are not gonna like this. Lah. But I like it. Mm. Mm. So you can see like the bone just falls off from the meat. So I love how tender they've actually made the mutton. It's super tender, super soft. It's very different from like, like other places where you get mutton meat that is like what super tough. So this one, wow, they've made it so tender. Uh, it's very flavorful. You get a lot of the fat. I would say it's worth the wait. It's a very unique mutton soup. It's not common that you can find good mutton soup. I'll give it a four stars on five just because like I had to wait like half an hour. It's nice. Oh, actually, if you you have the chili and then you drink the soup, it's like damn good. So like after you eat the chili, right, the soup it, it tastes even less gamey. So you don't get like a lot of the heavy gaminess from the mutton after you. Eat. 
pair it with the chili. So it's actually very interesting. Okay, la, 4.5 stars, maybe. I don't know. Just minus half a point, half a star for the wait time. Alright. So let's move on to the next spot. The Rasa Sayang. There's a lot of good food in nah, Amokyo. Wow, so it's, it's very hard to like try everything. Actually, so far, all the food we've been trying is all like very soup based. Uh, you can hate like cyclists on the road. I feel like they should set up bike yeah. yeah, like on the road. I feel like they should like, you know, like carve out, yeah. carve out some like. Even Malaysia has like bike lanes and like, um, what's it called? Like e scooter lanes. <laughs> We are now at this ST31 coffee shop. Shit, actually this Ta Hua pork noodle looks really good also. Uh, but we are here to try specifically the Rasa Sayang Western food. Chicken chop. Chicken chop, sir, uh, Okay, so we are here at this ST31 coffee house. I think another notable thing you could try is actually the Ta Hua uh, Ba Chow Mi, which is right beside Rasa Sayang. But today we are here to try Western food because I think so far I've been having like a lot of noodles and actually we haven't really been following the the Amokyo food guide because like you know we keep going to a place and then we see something else and then we try that instead. Uh, one of our writers did write about Rasa Sayang Western food uh, as a comeback story because they used to be at this uh, block 711 in Amokyo now they have shifted to this new coffee shop where as you can see this is the typical western food in Singapore you get some big baked beans, coleslaw, french fries and garlic bread but from memory right the sauce and the chicken itself is really good so you can see they actually make their own like mushroom sauce with actual mushrooms and the garlic bread actually looks pretty promising right it's like actual garlic minced garlic you can see that it's minced garlic in the butter onto the bread so what we got here is the chicken chop with the mushroom sauce the sauce is super nice it's a very good western food i just try bread oh very crispy toasty you can taste a lot of the garlic and the chicken very tender well cooked oh shit i dropped a fry oh and the sauce is amazing. The sauce is really nice. Lovely sauce that goes well with the chicken chop. I feel like they, they put in a lot more effort to like kind of elevate the Western food. Although it's not super cheap, it's like $7 for this uh, chicken chop. But they do take it, I think, one step better than most Western food stalls in Singapore. So I will give this a, will give it a four stars. But I guess it's just not, it's not super like, oh, I'll come all the way here to eat this. That might uh, I know we've been reviewing a lot of Western food in like the past episodes, but you know, it's I, I, I think we need some variety. Lah. It can't be like it's always uh, like Asian food. You know? And this is probably the last stop that we're gonna do. Lah. I can't eat anymore. Oh, cut the outro. We've come to the end of this Amokyo food finders. But wow, there's really a lot of food to eat in Amokyo. What, what are your favorites? Um, mutton soup. Mutton soup? Quite um, unique, lah, the mutton soup. I think I'll prefer the Ipo curry noodles. If you like something like uh, the noodles and also like quite meaty, right? I think the curry, Ipo curry noodles mm. is your choice. Wait, what else did I give five stars on? Oh, yeah, the mee siam at the start was pretty good. Yeah, just for like price point wise, like $3. Yeah, actually everything we tried today was, was actually quite top notch. Quite, yeah. quite top notch. There was actually like another place we wanted to go, Hong Si Clay Pot Herbal Bak Kut Teh, but I really cannot fit anything more. <laughs> Let's just like talk about some of the comments we've received. Have you all read any of the comments? Um, no, I do think like I like the, a lot of the comments recommending food because, you know, that's how we learn more about what's good in Singapore. I think there was one comment that said like, oh, nothing new, you know. You guys just like rehashing stuff. I'm like, hey, it might not be new to you, but it might be new to someone else. There was also one comment saying some of the food places we we're talking about were bad. I mean, they were, like, right? They, some, they, some were, were. they weren't great, which yeah. was something we. But that's what we say in the video as well. Yeah, like, it wasn't we great. We pointed that out in the video. <laughs> yeah. Just because just we featured them doesn't mean they're good. <laughs> like, yeah. we did say that it's like, eh, it's not, it's not great. Some, some people tend to also give the comment, like, oh, you know, this food sucks, but you guys still, like, endorse them uh, right they must have paid you no hawker store will pay us lah what the hell is it? I will not bow to any sponsor you disagree with our opinion and then you claim that they pay us so I mean that's that's nonsense lah and um, it's pretty ridiculous so you know again let's let's just you much and agree to disagree everyone has a different taste preference also so this concludes this food finders episode if you have any other uh, Amokyo recommendations, you can leave it in the comments. If you have a specific place you want us to check out, uh, do let us know. So I think mostly we've been covering the central north 
northeast-ish area. We are not just all doing it in like this area. Uh, we're gonna move on to different areas as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Do remember to, to like, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment and subscribe to our channel and uh, you know like turn on notifications so that you get notified when we have a new episode we'll try to do this more regularly so see you guys and next time bye, bye. bye.